Moon Knight Episode 5 release today and it was packed with a lot of stuff. If you are new here, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also check me out on Twitter, Twitch, TikTok and Hover. Links to them will be down in the description below. I think this show is probably one of Marvel's best TV shows ever and the last episode for Moon Knight to be released next Wednesday I don't know how they're going to wrap it up. I kind of hope we get another season of Moon Knight or at least we see him on the big screen in movies. That's really what I'm hoping for. And episode 5 takes right off from where we finished in episode 4 with the hippo saying hi. Now I'm not going to try and say her name because it's just way too complicated for me. This episode I really thought we were going to see the third personality of Moon Knight, Jake Lockley. Because it was teased to us last week with the moving tomb and when the hippo says that they need to balance their skills then I thought we were going to see Jake Lockley but sadly we didn't. This episode was an emotional roller coaster because we got to see how Stephen Grant was created, what happened to Mark, what happened to make his mother become the woman she did and just see the mental toll that it took on Mark and the father at times as well and just everything that happened with Mark to create Stephen as well. Hawk who plays Arthur Harrow was yet again incredible. He went from being this cold level headed villain to being a doctor, a therapist, uh, a person that wants to help people. It was amazing to see and the back and forth between Mark and Stephen in this episode I really really thought it brought them closer because Mark opened up about basically everything that happened in his life from the people he killed to being blamed for killing his brother, to his mom beating him, the way his birthdays would go, the way his mom would talk to him. It was really, really crazy to see because Marvel have never done this before. And this does happen in real life and it's a great awareness for people to see these kind of things happen. And when Stephen gets in control of the body, when he quote unquote wakes up, he's in front of Dr. Harrow where he throws the water in his face and he says he's sorry and they kind of get talking about his mother and Arthur Harrow actually calls the phone number and all you can hear is a dead line. Stephen finally comes to the realisation that his mother is dead. This whole episode had Mark open up to Stephen a lot and when they make it to the gates they are not open and the scales did not balance. Where we see both Stephen and Mark fight the dead and sadly Stephen goes overboard and is frozen leaving us with Mark who finally sees the balance of the scales and then he is teleported to paradise. Oscar Isaac is doing a crazy job at portraying Moon Knight and the Identity Disorder. I don't really know what will happen in the last episode. I hope we can get Steven back and get Khonshu back as well and defeat Arthur Harrow. But I don't know what they will do with Jake Lockley. And if they can't get Steven back, what happens then? Does Mark just create another identity that is Steven 2.0? Or, or does he end up making Jake Lockley there's a lot of things that could happen in the final episode and I really really like this TV show and I would love to see more Moon Knight we do we need that kind of Stephen and Mark duo relationship as well where they're kind of bouncing off each other because it's what makes Moon Knight for the MCU is I think it could be also supposed to be getting an Avenger character in Moon Knight as well who that might be is unknown if if it is true as well but many people think it could be the Hulk or Bruce Banner which it could be because we saw that in Shang-Chi as well so potentially because you know Moon Knight kind of magic maybe it might do something there I am a little upset that there isn't going to be more episodes of Moon Knight as long as they can wrap it up in the sixth episode I will be very very happy but I'm sad that it's going to be ending because I really really do love Moon Knight. 